In the 138 years since Hubbard Hall was erected, many things have changed in the Cambridge Valley. One thing remains the same. Your decision was already made. The spirit of community. Everybody promenade the ring. It is the heart of Hubbard Hall. We're continually making community. We're making a sense of the individuals growing, but also the whole group is growing. One of the questions for me is, what do we need to do to sustain this thing that we really love, which is this community? How do we really keep it thriving? My whole adult life has been Hubbard Hall. We need to really <laughs> I've been a teacher of everything all my life. I've taught baskets, I've taught cheese making, I've taught everything I know how to do, I've shared. And that's just who I am. I wonder where its lid is. It's every piece of my life. So to bring in the garden part as well was very gratifying. Amazing soil in this plot. I think it's the most fun thing I've ever done in my life, really, being a part of this community garden. and especially teaching people how to garden. And then there's the aspect of this garden, which is just creating kind of a, a village park. And we've extended it from just vegetables to berries and rhubarb, and now we have this orchard circle in the back where the Shakespeare was performed last summer. By heaven, I do love, and it has taught me to rhyme and to be melancholy. Here's part of my rhyme and here, my melancholy. I had no idea what I was getting into. I'd seen it when I was a little kid, totally forgotten about it. I knew it was there going through high school. I just brought up this dolly. There was always so much more to be done. And then the fun things would fall into your lap. I understand that. I am the subject to be interviewed, but what subject do you wish to discuss with the subject? <laughs> Friendships really with know. people who had passion, wanted to do something. I couldn't have done it without the volunteers. A facility alone is not enough of a resource for most people's passions. You've got to find other ways of supporting it and throwing that support behind the people you believe in. It became a project that wasn't just mine, it was everybody's project, where these buildings weren't part of how we made our living, they were part of how we served the community. That's going to be a nice buy. It wasn't a part of a plan, but the fact that I was having enough fun with it that taking 35 years uh, was okay. And I've been incredibly lucky to have had that. Lucky personally, it's a great community to raise a daughter in. It is. Um, she grew up in Hubbard Hall and now teaches theater at a school in New York. And for me, just when Something you'd get tired and old, still fun, but I'd get itchy for something to really sink my teeth into. A new thing would come along, a new person would come along, and it kept changing. We had fun. There's a quilt of people, a, a huge quilt, a huge network of people that care about this and give what they can give to support it. The idea that a group of us are gonna to come together in a circle and do something together and then celebrate the growth of our children or the growth of our elders or the growth of whoever in our community 
is something that's ageless. It's always existed throughout time, and it's something that's always been here for over 130 years, that we actually, that's been a core part of the community, and it's something that's vanishing in a lot of ways in our society, and so I think it's something that people thirst for. It's something that people hunger for more and more. And the more we can grow that, and grow the capacity to actually give that opportunity for more people, the better we can actually have effect on the way people live. Hubbard Hall gives you uh, opportunities to uh, learn uh, new moves and dance steps. I think it's great that they have all the volunteers and stuff that come in and, and do this program for people and, and that the community can get together and do something as a group. I love being a grunt. I've done all that other stuff and I love the grunt. What would Hubbard Hall be without its volunteers? It wouldn't. Very simple. It would not exist. It brings me in contact with all kinds of really interesting people and I like people. We first came to Hubbard Hall when it was under the bell tower, when there actually was a little hole in the cellar. Some wonderful folk singers came through and there was a film series. We're talking many, many years ago. I hope all the things that have made it wonderful so far will continue. But if it didn't change and grow, then it wouldn't be in fun anymore. Like any organization, we need money. It would be wonderful if we had an endowment. So there's some stability. I'd like us to be a place where we have artist housing. You know, right now we rely on volunteers, like with a lot of things. The fact is that we have the chance to do a lot, and we're already doing a lot, and we're doing so much that we don't even yet really have the structure to support everything that we're doing. So sometimes it's really catch as catch can, or we're sort of paying the bills from last month, this month, you know, or we're fundraising to support what we just did the last six months, and we really need to get ahead of it, and we need to develop our donor base have people give larger gifts in some cases, have people who are here for the summer potentially get connected as donors. But I also think it's about communicating to people what it takes to do what we do, because I think in some ways it's invisible, because for years we've just done it. Um, and we need to start to say, here's what it costs to do this, to do this performance, or to do this project, or to do this class. There are costs tied to turning on the lights in the building, to heating the building, to opening the door. And however we can, figuring out how people can understand that and therefore feel that if they value it, if they love it, if they want to participate in it, they need to give. You know, they give their time and their energy, but they also give their money because the money is what supports the infrastructure to do it.